So just to re-familiarize yourself with using the eWatt system and using the bike, we'll just go through the setup again for you. When you come in and you set up the Techno Gym bike, the first thing you do is just check out your seat height. So hop on. Don't worry too much about trying to strap your feet in because you're not really going to be pushing it that hard for most people on the bike because it's not, a, not about going to the fullest of your intensity, especially at first. Uh, other so people that are uh, working at an elite level can do that. And we'll talk about that later. But this is just your basic setup. So you can see now when I'm riding, my seat's quite low. My leg's coming up to that uh, horizontal plane here. And if I stop, there's a big flexion in, in my knee. So I want to have it so that I'm pretty much like that where there's just a slight bend in my knee when I'm sitting on the seat. So we bring it up. So now you can see that that gives me that, just that little bit of flexion here. I'm gonna just a better height for cycling away there. Then I can just set the tension that I wanna be at. So when you get first get on, you just wanna be cycling it around, around about 70 revs per minute. So you find out what's comfortable there. If you turn it anti-clockwise, it makes the resistance less. If you turn it clockwise, your resistance increases. So if you're doing your 30 second uh, sprint section, that's when you'll sort of turn this up at first, find your resistance point, and then you can start pushing along. You don't wanna do your 30 second uh, high intensity section by going you know, a million miles an hour like this. You kind of it's better to get the resistance and just cycle smoothly and you'll see you're producing more power by your wattage. If you have a tall upper body or uh, longer arms, you can turn this here and this allows you to move this one out. The next thing you'll do is use your mask. Those of you who are doing a program will have your own mask uh, just so you can look after yourself, in which case it just needs to rinse with, with hot water when you get home. Uh, for those of you who are using one of our masks because you're just doing a, a trial or you just have, it's just a, you're just having a, using it as part of a, uh, a reset for something that's going on for you, then you'll use one of our masks and once you finish, you just drop it in, there's a bucket down there which contains the fluid that uh, disinfects everything. We also use a UV. So it goes from the, the Cydex OPA, which is used to de disinfect masks 100%, but we also use a UV uh, disinfectant as well. So once you get your mask, you're just gonna put it over the top, keep the, the, the straps in this hand, put your mask on, okay? And then bring your straps over. Your straps will sit up about here, so they sit quite high, so they don't sort of scrunch your ears up and that kind of stuff. And once you get your mask on, just pull it off once and put it on straight so it sits properly. And it'll sit just nice and, and flush on your face there. Okay. When you're on and you're riding straight away, you'll, you'll want to make sure you just keep a little bit of, uh, of, of slack in the hose. So don't have the hose fully straight out like that and pulling on your face. You just want to bring a little bit through. Uh, and just to, to make sure you got the move, you can move forward or you can move back without it seeming like it's pulling on the mask at all. When you first start out, you have your switch here, which switches you from a low oxygen state to a high oxygen state. So at first, your first three minutes, you're in low oxygen and you're really just going at a, at a medium pace, whatever that is for you, getting your heart rate up around 100 to maybe 120 at the most, uh, and because you don't want to be pushing it too hard in that first phase. You'll get to the end of your three minutes, okay? You keep the switch where it is and you just do one minute where you increase your heart rate, so you push it a little bit more, you turn this up, increase your resistance. Once you've done that initial four minutes, which is three minutes of cruising, one minute pushing it at sort of 70%, you just pull this out and it changes to, from 13% oxygen to 80% oxygen. Given that you already have an elevated heart rate, you have increased CO2 in your body, your body's far more efficient and ready to take up oxygen. So as we give it 80% oxygen, your body then can will pull that oxygen in and push it to areas in the body that haven't been getting the oxygen they need. When we're stressed and if we don't breathe correctly, and as we get older, Oxygen go, only goes to the key systems uh, that are prioritized at the time. And the areas that tend to get compromised are our immune system 
and our digestive system and also our brain which has such a high demand for energy and that's why we get so much mental fatigue so one of the key benefits you notice as soon as you switch it to the high oxygen state take a couple of smooth breaths in and out through your nose you'll feel your brain just kind of light up and it's not an excited state like like caffeine um, but it's just expansive and really clear and for some of you it'll be the first time you felt you've had full power in your brain you know where you feel like wow i've got the energy to do whatever i need to do which is such a cool thing because so much so many habits we have and dysfunctional habits that we develop are because we just don't have enough energy to do the things that we know we want to do so to live a life where you're on purpose and you're achieving what you want to achieve it's so important that we have the energy in our prefrontal cortex to prioritize to make decisions and to do those things that require extra effort so this is my favorite thing for doing that so we're going to do once we've done that we do three minutes of what we call the oxygen wash so at 80 percent oxygen we just we go back just to cruising level whatever that is for you which we worked out within your first couple of sessions uh, the oxygen is just going to go to all the areas it needs to go to, areas it hasn't been for a while, detoxify your system, increase your cell membrane potential so your body has more electricity around each of its cells, it can push toxins out, it can bring nutrients in and everything just starts to renew. So you do your three minutes like that uh, and then you'll start doing your sprints. So as you're going along, you just reach down, you just with one hand, push it back into low oxygen, crank your resistance back up, and then you'll go into your 30 seconds of sprinting, which is whatever that is for you, which will be somewhere from 150 watts to 600 watts, depending on your fitness, your power, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so here we have the time. This is your watts. Watts equals is how much power you're producing while you're pedaling. And this is your uh, reps per minute, how many, how many how cycles your you're pedaling at. So when we increase the effort that we use like that, we'll watch the watts go up. If your the rotations per minute is too high, you need to increase your resistance. You can bring your, this number will lower and this number will get higher because it's requiring more effort. You can flick through the screens using the right button and you can get to this screen, this third screen along, shows you your distance, 0.5 kilometers, your kilocalories, how much speed you're traveling at, and your average RPMs. This is a summary screen, your, your maximum power you reached, and your maximum RPM. And then that takes back, back to the, the main screen. So when we're, when we're cycling, we're using a pulse oximeter. You slide your finger all the way to the end, turn it on, you see here it says SpO2, currently mine's sitting at 98. This little bit that's going up and down like this, this is showing how effective it is at reading my, my pulse. So. If you're not seeing that move very much, your numbers are not going to be as accurate. You need to just adjust your finger. Uh, you see my heart rate's about 107 just as I'm cycling along. Okay, so this is like, that's a good sort of starting range for you. Uh, as you go along, as soon as you put your mask on and you're low oxygen, you'll find that that 98 will start dropping down. You normal, most people are above 96 is, is the normal range, um, but you'll start to drop to 90, 88, maybe even down to 84. As your, your, your oxygen concentration lowers like that, you can feel a slight shortness of breath. It shouldn't feel too strong for you. If it, if it is, just slow down the rate of pedaling, or even you can pull the oxygen out and just have the uh, higher oxygen at that point, and it'll just reset you straight away. Uh, but it's good just to keep yourself at that level, cycling smoothly, breathing smoothly through your nose. Try and avoid being on the bike, <sighs> panting away um, through your mouth. We want to take this time on the bike to really consciously breathe. So you're in this position and you're breathing down into your back, like smooth, deep breaths 
through your nose. Okay, it can be out through your mouth, but definitely always in through your nose, unless you, you're working at an elite level on the bike and you're really pushing those sprints and you might be doing a sprint for 45 seconds instead of 30, in which case you've got to suck the last little bit of air in through your mouth. But if you're not, most people won't be doing that. So try and keep your breathing nice and smooth through your nose. Once you pull the oxygen out to 80%, it, sometimes you'll see the, there's a delay on the, the oxygen coming back up. Again, just focus on your breathing nice and smooth through your nose. Um, and you, your body initially is just getting rid of the excess CO2 that's in the system. And then you'll see your oxygen come right back up quite often to 100%. So your full saturation and you're fully saturated with higher levels of carbon dioxide in your system and at a higher heart rate. Now that's super important when we talk about getting that oxygen to areas it's not been getting to because when you have higher CO2, carbon dioxide in your body, carbon dioxide is a vasodilator. And what that means is it opens up all your blood vessels, it opens up all your capillaries so you can get the blood flow to where you need it, you can get the blood flow into your brain, you can get it to all your organs, your digestive system, and those areas that you need to recover. Often chronic pain patterns and areas of chronic injury just aren't getting the oxygen and because they're not getting the, the, uh, the blood flow that they need. So in this higher CO2 state, when we start to give it pure, you know, 80% oxygen, then your body can really get that uh, oxygen to those areas at a higher blood pressure because you know, because your heart rate's higher. So you're, you're pushing it all into those tissues. So once you've completed your session, take your pulse oximeter off. Always, you'll finish on a high oxygen setting at the end, push it back in so it allows the bags to refill for the next person. You'll take your mask off. If it's your own mask, just put it in your bag, take it home, give it a rinse out. If it's one of our masks, it's gonna come down here. You lift this up, it'll just drop into the fluid that's in there, which is the cleaning and disinfecting solution. And then grab a, one of the detergent wipes. First thing you do is just wipe out the pulse oximeter. Give that a wipe down. Grab the switch. Give that a wipe down. Anything you've touched on that. Uh, and grab the dial here and wipe that down. And this is you've touched that and then if you've touched that. And then just wipe down where your hands have been. So you just go around. Okay, it foams up, but it, that just disappears. So don't worry about that. Okay, anywhere you put your hands around there. Okay. Uh, often, if you've had a really big session and it's been quite sweaty, you might have dripped down here, so just make sure you get any of that sort of stuff. Okay, and then finish with the seat. And then you're done.